What is going on guys? It is Zach here and in today's video I have a lot of brand new information that just came out for Advanced Warfare in the past couple of days from Gamescom and we're going to be starting off here with some multiplayer map names, some multiplayer game modes, new and returning, how to play the game early, and uh, Xbox One like exclusive stuff, and just league play and clan wars in general. So let's get started off with the video here. Uh, the first one that we're going to be discussing is the Advanced Warfare map names that we know of so far. So we saw four at the Advanced Warfare Gamescom reveal, and those four were Defender, Biolab, Ascend, and Riot. And we also know five maps as of right now, the other one being the Atlas Gorge pre-order map. That is a remake of the Call of Duty 4 fan favorite pipeline. So that's pretty cool. We have some uh, like good maps. I mean, I saw the gameplays in all of these ones. I saw at least like 15 gameplays, and great. Looks The maps look great. I love how there's no invisible barriers anymore, so that's one of my favorite things. The next thing that we're going to have is Advanced Warfare Xbox One Bundle with one terabyte hard drive coming November. Now this one looks pretty cool here. It looks like, I thought it would be stupid, but it looks like a pretty badass Xbox. The control looks awesome. Um, I'll have like a picture of it, like the, the console itself, the bundle and everything. And it also comes with a Day Zero Edition, if you guys didn't know. And I'll get into the Day Zero Edition right now. If you guys are not familiar with it, it gives you 24 hour early access. And all you have to do is pre-order the game at select retailers that allow it. So go to your local GameStop and say I want to pre-order uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Anyone that has an existing pre-order automatically gets the Day Zero Edition. So pretty much whoever pre-orders this game, which is like 90% of the Call of Duty players that buy the game first week, this game is pretty much coming out November 3rd and we're all getting double XP that first day and two custom weapons and advanced arsenal. So that's going to be a lot of cool stuff. The, the guns that we get, they are going to be I'm looking for actually. I don't know what I don't know exactly what the gun is off the top of my head, but I know that it's like I think an assault rifle and SMG, so it's definitely worth it. I know that uh, if you guys don't know already, you have you can like customize your gun and you can get like exclusive stuff on it that other people don't get. I'm not really sure how it works, but I'll have another video on that once I find out. The next thing is Clan Wars are returning for Advanced Warfare now. I'm not a big fan of Clan Wars myself. I thought it was very confusing and it was just not easy to to manage and everything on your phone, but it's good that they're bringing it back alongside with league play and rank playlists and everything. So that's good that you're getting the best of both worlds there. So that's a good part on them. Next thing is Search and Rescue and Kill Confirmed are returning in Advanced Warfare Multiplayer. Now with um, what is it? With uh, Search and Rescue returning in this game along with Search and Destroy, that leaves a lot of head spinning that um, Blitz could possibly be returning as well because of Capture the Flag being there. You never know. I wasn't a big fan of Blitz. I liked the old style Capture the Flag. So... We'll have to see where that goes, but uh, Michael Condry did tweet out that Kill Confirmed and Search and Rescue are coming back, and the other modes that we know for a fact are in the game confirmed are Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, Domination, Team Domination, Search and Destroy, Search and Rescue, Capture the Flag, Hardpoint, Uplink, and Momentum. Uplink is pretty much Griff Ball from Halo. You just run around with a ball. You can jump in and score and everything like that. Looks like a really fun and fast-paced game mode. Momentum is uh, War from Call of Duty World at War, if you guys are not familiar. It's pretty much where you're just pushing for hills. It's like Drop Zone in a sense, but we also don't see Headquarters, Demolition, Free For All, Ground War, which I'm guessing all those should hopefully be in there. But that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Uh, if you have any other questions or any other information that you know about for Advanced Warfare, leave a comment down below. It'll help us make another video and help you guys get the information out faster. So if you guys enjoy the video... Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't, and I'll see you guys later.